morning, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be telling you guys how I trained my four month old baby to accept bottles. If you're watching this video, probably having some troubles too. And I hope this video will tell you because I have some few tips and tricks how I did it to train my baby to take bottles after four months. But before we begin, don't forget to give a big thumbs up to this video and subscribe to my channel down below. Some information about Arella. She's currently five months already. She has always been breastfeeding. I've never tried any formula at all. I haven't tried to give it a bottle until she was 12 weeks old. I've always been told about the nipple confusion and I was just trying to avoid it and I really wanted to breastfeed. So because I was so scared of nipple confusions, I decided not to give her bottle at all. I also wanted to have a bond with my baby and I thought if I introduce a bottle, it will sort of reduce that bond and I was a little bit scared of that. And I really wanted to practice my breastfeeding before introducing bottle. So that's why I just never introduced the bottle. So I originally tried to give her bottle when she was 12 weeks old and it turned out to be a disaster. I had a massive overflow of milk since basically my milk came in when I gave birth. So I decided to just keep the milk and freeze it in case I ever need to use it. When I was ready to try again, I obviously tried again. And that was when she was four months, but of course, she was having none of it. Because how can you? If she's so used to having my beautiful booby, soft and delicate in her mouth, why would she accept some sort of rubber in her mouth? And I totally get it. However, I wasn't gonna give up and I looked for all the information on the internet and I decided to follow those exact steps. But I also invented different new ways that I can also try bottle feeding her. Excuse me, what are you doing? Can you just sit here and play with your ring? No. She wants to go away. Make sure you don't concentrate on the baby. You concentrate on me because I know she can be very distracting right now. So originally, of course, I tried the Tommy Tippy bottles because they're just the most popular. And I just thought, you know, that it's gonna be so easy and the baby's just gonna accept any bottle because I mean, come on, there's milk inside. And if she's hungry, she's probably going to drink it. But no, 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 that was not the case. I still have so many Tommy Tippy bottles somewhere in this house and they have never been used. My baby's mouth is quite small and when I do try the Tommy Tippy bottles, the teeth, they just seem very big. I used to try to put it in my baby's mouth, but she was just like sticking her tongue out and rejecting it completely. So at that point, I decided to just look at my nipples and compare them to different bottles that are out there. My nipples are inverted and they're not very big. When I see her sucking on my nipples, they become quite flat. So I went out there to the shop and looked for different kind of bottles with different teeth. So once I went bottle shopping, I found these bottles called MAM. M-A-M. Maybe you have heard of these bottles before, but if you haven't, then definitely go online and have a look to what they look like. They kind of have a flat top, which I'm showing you right now. And I just decided to give it a go. When I gave it a go, they seemed to fit in my baby's mouth quite well. And it was a kind of a small teeth, so it kind of worked for her. Then I looked for the correct flow. I started off with zero because obviously she wasn't used to it. But what I realized is that she was getting very frustrated and I didn't know whether it was because of the bottle or because of the teeth. So we decided to try different teeth. So from zero, we went to number one, but it was still the same story. And then we went number two, which seemed to be better, but still not good enough. So I went to number three, which is like four months plus. The reason we went for that is because since birth, my milk flow has been very high. And obviously what I realized is that when I was giving her the slower flow, she was getting frustrated because she couldn't get to it properly like she would when she had the baby. So of course, what you want to do is make sure you have the correct flow. If I was you, I'd probably start off with a slow flow because you don't want to kind of upset the baby and introduce something too high, but you have to just judge. You might have to buy so many different teats with different flows and different bottles that you can try out, but these are just my recommendations. I also changed the feeding position. Obviously, they all tell you that your feeding position should be very similar to when you're breastfeeding. And no, 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 that was not the case for me. So you might try to try different feeding positions. The one I am doing is this one, because I feel like my baby would get so frustrated when I tried to feed her in like a breastfeeding position and she just wanted booby when she was in that position. But when I picked a different position, she kind of like enjoyed that position more. So I decided to just keep it like that. Another tip that I can recommend that you probably know, but some of you might just not think about that, is not feeding her yourself. You should start off with your partner feeding her or a friend or a parent or a sibling, whoever else, 
just not you. Also, you want to avoid being next to the baby. So maybe go to another room or just hide. I just used to hide in another room so she doesn't see me because as soon as she saw me, she used to get really distracted and reject the bottle. It's very important because the baby associates you with feeding. When you start feeding your baby, make sure you start off with very small portions. I got really brave and I thought she's gonna drink a lot. So I put in a bottle like 160 mils and she ended up rejecting the whole bottle. She only drank about 10 to 20 mils, which is normal by the way. And then I had to waste the whole milk. I was so upset because if you ever pump milk, you know how precious that milk is. Every meal matters. Don't be discouraged if your baby just takes 10 meals or 20 meals at first. You're actually doing really well and if the baby's accepting any meal at all, that's a start. And she might be just accepting 10 to 20 meals for the first two weeks or the first week and then she'll be getting more and more as she's going to be getting used to it. So don't get frustrated if it's just small portions. Another tip that has really worked for me is giving her an empty bottle to play with. Because if she didn't know what it was and I just stuck it in there, she was kind of like, what the hell is this? So I originally gave her the bottle to play with and I realized that she's actually putting it in her mouth because of course babies do that, they put anything in their mouth. So what I decided to do, just put a little drop of milk in there to see how she's gonna react when she just suddenly realized that she's playing with this bottle and it has milk in it. And she actually enjoyed it. She stopped for a minute and her reaction was kind of like, oh, the milk comes up from there. Another tip, when you're feeding her in the position that I just showed you, let the baby hold the bottle herself. Obviously, the four month old baby is not gonna just hold the bottle herself, but when you're holding it, try to have her hands on the bottle too. So she feels like she's also involved in this process. When I was holding the bottle, the baby didn't like it. When I let the baby hold the bottle and I was just supporting it, my baby liked it. So you see, this small change can actually be so helpful when you're trying to introduce bottles. If you're really serious about introducing a bottle, you have to make this a routine and you have to make this process repetitive. I would recommend trying at least every single day for at least two weeks. You might start off with a disaster, then you might get maybe 10 to 20 meals, but then after a while you might get 80. At this very moment, my baby can do about 90 meals when I feed her and she can do even up to 180 when my partner feeds it. Me feeding her is not great because she still kind of gives up really fast in the middle of anyone's booby. But when my partner feeds her, it's like not a problem at all. But yeah, definitely make this a routine because if you try once, then a few days later try again, your baby's gonna like forget and then you have to kind of start again. But if you keep carrying on every single day, she'll finally get it. Make it fun. You can make this into like a game. What me and my partner now do is we tease a little bit and we say things like, oh, it's time for your meal. We kind of like play with the bottle a little bit. We let her hold it. We ask her if she wants to hold the bottle. We ask her if she wants to eat herself. She doesn't respond very well, but she laughs about it. She smiles about it. And it's more of her accepting the bottle when we do these kind of things. So keep that in mind too. Make it fun, not stressful. Another tip that I can give is you have to get the baby at the right time. She can't be not hungry and she can't be over hungry because if she's over hungry, it's just gonna turn into tears and rejection. And that's exactly what happened to us. I thought I can like leave her a little bit until she's proper hungry and it's more of a chance to accept the bottle. But no, it's actually worse. You're creating tears, stress, and then the baby is less likely to accept the bottle in the future. So pick the right time. When we first started, we made it into like a routine every single day and did her feed as a part of her bedtime routine. Sometimes she would just take 20 meals and then I would finish off with booby. Then she started taking 50 meals and I would finish it off with booby. And now she can take 120 meals and then at that point, I won't feed her anymore because I want her now to know that you get the bottle or you don't get booby. But obviously there's been like a month now, so I can do that, but at the beginning, no, just, you know, feed her what you can and then finish off with booby so she's not hungry, not upset. And the last thing, what I'm gonna say to you, and that really frustrates me when people say, when your baby's hungry, she'll definitely take the bottle, she won't have a choice, just let her be hungry if she doesn't accept the bottle. I mean, that's a very negative attitude and you're basically just making the whole process worse because if your baby doesn't wanna accept the bottle, you can't just force her to accept the bottle and magically hope that she's gonna take the bottle. You know what I mean? When you're just making her hungry and frustrated. That's not right. And definitely I would not recommend doing that. Like I said, you wanna make the process fun. You wanna catch her at the right moment. You wanna make this all repetitive. Give her the bottle to play with. Try different teeth, try different bottles 
and you'll get there. And all it takes is you keep trying, making it in a routine. Don't stress about it, that's the most important part. Just take it easy. And I can guarantee you, at one point, it will work. But anyway, thank you guys for watching and I hope some of these can help. Give it a go, definitely. If some of them work for you, then don't forget to let me know down in the comments down below. And if you think this video was useful, then give it a big thumbs up. So about my baby, I'm sure she was like very distracted. Apart from that, thank you guys for watching and I hope I'll see you in my next video. So yeah, bye bye.